Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Yes, born to be free. Welcome to this beautiful day again. Uh, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, I'm at 90%, so 10% more. I'm completely fit again, guys. But making a beautiful video, this video, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, some travel advice. Yes, also, of course, some live advice and talking about the news, because again, I read an article that really gives me like these goosebump feelings. Also, in this trading tip, two tokens that I really would keep an eye on in the next two days. So let's jump into the first part, the charts. Bam! The first chart for the day, guys, of course, is this four hour chart. You can see on the four hour chart, we exactly filled that gap. Uh, I was talking about this gap already like a couple of days ago, a CME gap. I'm going to show this later again, but this four hour chart, we can see beautiful that sell single up there. The sell signal was beautifully uh, appearing when the candle were down below the yellow stepping line. The yellow stepping line was really fat. We had that blue area of resistance over there. Beautiful confirmation. We had the white line already going downwards from this level over here. Beautifully. The blue line was down below the white line. There was a lot of yellow here in the bottom, guys. And the red line was on top. Red, orange, green. The perfect... Uh, traffic light uh, combination for a short. So that would have been a beautiful short. The level of the short, yes, of course, that midline around here, that every 40,500, that also was the CME gap, guys. Um, are we going to fall lower to, for example, that 37 level here, where there's a lot of volume, if you can see? I don't think so. I think there is a lot of volume coming in slowly. The white line is starting to curl over again. The yellow is uh, decreasing again. So let's see what's going to happen. If we see a reversal from this moment, we can still see that breakout to 45K, guys. If not, Bitcoin can also become boring and go sideways for some time here. So the altcoins will start running. Talking about altcoins, later in the video, I will talk about two coins that I'm probably going to buy because I just really like what they are doing, guys. Now, um, that was the short-term vision. Now let's quickly zoom out and check these beautiful charts over here. The first chart that I want to show you guys is this one. And this one, of course, because it's showing you exactly that gap I was just talking about. I shared this image with you, I think a couple of days ago already. I told you guys, listen, there's two gaps that we still need to fill. We have this beautiful gap over there. That's the gap that we just filled exactly. And we still have a gap over here around 20K that I didn't believe that we would fill. This gap is now filled. Now let's see, can we take it sideways a little bit in this area and then break up again? That is what I expect. The other thing of this industry you need to understand is um, of course that a lot of people are trading with leverage, which also means that a lot of people will be liquidated. And uh, people being liquidated is just part of the game. And you can see that it every time happens again and again and again. Look, when the liquidations are at these levels over there, the yellow, we hit it. When they are at that level over there, we hit it. When, for example, um, the long liquidations, people that are going long and will be liquidated when we drop to these prices, we will hit it. When, we, when people are short and people will be liquidated when the price goes up in the other direction and we hit it. You, on this heat map, you can exactly see where these liquidations are taking place. <clears throat> and look, there was a shitload of yellow here. There was a shitload of liquidations, even lower. There were way more liquidations. That was around that 40,500 to 41,500 level. They were hit. These are the wicks that are hitting these liquidations levels. And you see where the next liquidations will be? Somewhere here, around 44, 45K. And these will start to build up more yellow again now as well, because now people will start to go short because they believe we go to 35K. And then when Bitcoin turns around, the liquidations will be at those levels again. That's how this game works, guys. It's nothing difficult to understand. Just check these heat maps and you will understand what the support and resistance levels will be. Now, then we have this beautiful chart, of course. This beautiful chart is telling us that everything is just like it always is. It's just normal. We are not doing any different than we always have been doing. Look at these lines. This poem in the year is a halving. That green line, that blue line, that orange line, all of these three have been around the same level around that halving. Yes, that green line had that COVID crash. You can see it's a little bit different because that was the COVID crash, that was the 2019 COVID crash. But all the others, they just, small, they just smoothly went up from the bottom beautifully to the halving. And that red line is the current one. 
smoothly going up from that bottom towards that halving. Nothing different. It's completely the same. And from that halving, even that green line here that had that covert crash went massively up, just like that blue line and that orange line. And yes, there is, of course, a decrease in profits because we are not making 10,000 of percentages run anymore, but still it will be nice runs. And if the red line is only going to go somewhere around here, five, between five and 10 times the price, that's still a nice, beautiful level to visit. So yes, there's a lot of FOMO. Yes, there is a lot of news. Yes, there is a lot of this noise all over the place. But just look at the charts. It's nothing different than normally. We're just moving towards the halving, slowly moving up, and from that halving, we will see a huge pump again, probably propelled now by Spot ETF and Google Ads being allowed. Talking about that later. And if we zoom out a little bit more, then we understand this chart as well, because this chart is showing you exactly how we will be moving, because we moved like this all the time, guys. Because every time it's the same, year one, Bitcoin will be going up. Year two, Bitcoin will still be outperforming the alts. Year three, that is when the alts start to outperform Bitcoin. This is talking 2025 January probably. And then year four will again be the bear market. That's 2026 to 2027. We are now nearing 2024, the year that Bitcoin is going to outperform the alts. You should be in Bitcoin. Of course, some alts to make short-term profits, but your main portfolio should be in Bitcoin. From the end of that year, beginning of 2025, yeah, maybe go a little bit more into these alts because they then will start to outperform Bitcoin and then exit the complete market because we will have a bear market again. And is there any possibility for Bitcoin to grow? Yes, of course. Because look over here how big the world is when it comes to capital, guys. The market capital is visualized. Real estate at the moment is 326.5 trillion. Debt is 300 trillion. Equities, 108 trillion. Gold, 12.2 trillion. Bitcoin, 0 0.85 trillion. The spot ETF will make it possible that all those people that invested in these industries, mostly institutional investors, will now be able to allocate a little bit of their capital also into Bitcoin in a legal way through a spot ETF. So from all this capital, if even a few percent will flow into Bitcoin, 0 0.8 trillion will be like 5 or 6 trillion. That's how simple it is, guys. That were the charts for today. Let's jump into the next part. Born to be free, guys. Born to be free. Hope you really enjoyed these charts, guys. Yes, of course, always zooming out in Bitcoin. Of course, we saw the dip as I predicted exactly to that 40,500 level. Yes, you saw the chart. I shared the chart already a couple of days ago. We exactly hit that beautiful level to accumulate a little bit more Bitcoin. Now again, zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. Look how beautiful we are nearing the halving in April 2024. And you all know what will happen from that halving moment. Bitcoin will go on a massive bull run. So don't be fooled by all the news and all those centralized puppets there in the governments that are trying to tell you this and that and all the news that's like being completely resisted by those centralized entities like BlackRock and Vanguard. Don't fall for that. They want to buy your Bitcoins. So they need to scare you out of this industry. When the blood is on the streets, they will buy again. So now this dip, they are accumulating or you're afraid that we'll go to 35 gay. Start to buy more. Please, let us buy collectively more Bitcoins than the centralized motherfuckers can ever buy. That's how we keep control on Bitcoin. And yes, for me, Bitcoin is definitely the king. But I also play around with these altcoins to increase my Bitcoin stack. I take my profits there in the altcoins, I put them in Bitcoin, and my hardcore stall of value capital that I use as a peer-to-peer -peer cash in my daily life as a family already for six years. 
Now let's jump into the trading tip because that might surprise you. It's not a TA tip, but two beautiful tokens that I'm gonna buy this week. In the trading tip today, guys, no candlestick pattern, but two tokens that I'm keeping an eye on and I'm going to buy this week because they are both launching. One is being launched on Wednesday, that's tomorrow, and the other one on Thursday. These are very fun projects, in my honest opinion, that can give me a little bit more return on investment to buy back a shitload of more Bitcoins. So the first project that's going to be launching tomorrow, I already talked about, like, I think two weeks ago or something in the video, and that's Famecoin ETH. Famecoin ETH is this artificial intelligence influencer agency. So they have these artificial influencers. Do you remember? I was walking on the beach. I told you guys, maybe I will be replaced by an AI influencer in the future. Now, that video, that coin is going to go live tomorrow. And where is it going to go live? On my favorite exchange, Bybit. So if you want to be able to buy FMC, that's going to be the ticker of Famecoin, then you need to sign up to Bybit. Click the link down below, sign up to buy a bit, and you will be able to buy FMC, which is Famecoin. And again, yes, I think this company is very early, but this is going to be a huge shift in influencer marketing. There's now almost eight influencer models that have a shitload of following that are making videos, that are playing in commercials, that are doing all the stuff that normally influencers like me or very famous people would be doing. And all these huge companies, they understand now, wow, hey, these AI influencers, not real people, but they have a following as well. And these AI influencers are very cheap to use. And they don't discuss, they just do what we program them to do. So this is a very interesting, very interesting industry that is expanding very rapidly. AI influencers now taking over the market of social media, of commercials, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm definitely gonna buy FMC token tomorrow on Bybit at the launch. I think it's Wednesday at 12 p.m. And then the second project I'm gonna give you the tip for this week is going to go live on Thursday. And I'm just completely crazy about this project because I just really love what they are doing. They are like me. They have this mindset against centralized entities, this mindset of humor, this mindset against politicians, corrupt politicians. This project is called Buy Garbage. They have a really cool Twitter account. Go to the Twitter account. They tweet these greenish Buy Garbage posts with all these fun stuff about Elon Musk, about politicians, about all the cool stuff that I really am against as well. But I took the time to take into their white paper. And then I contacted them. I told them, hey, can we have a Zoom call? I want to know what you're exactly are doing because what is this thing that I saw in your white paper? What is this meme generator? What is this use case of your token? And they gave me a Zoom call of 15 minutes and they explained to me what they were going to build and what their vision was and what like the whole uh, goal was of their token. And then I understood, wow, this is a really cool meme token with a really cool use case that is a really cool plan behind it and a good team. So yes, garbage, I'm gonna buy some garbage on Thursday as well. So instead of the usual trading tip guys, this week I'm gonna tell you what I'm buying I'm going to buy it tomorrow on Bybit FMC, which is Famecoin. And yes, Thursday, I'm going to buy garbage because I just really love the fun and the community behind this project and buy garbage. And just look at their memes that they are producing and you will be able to produce them as well with a meme generator. So it's a really cool project now. And yes, I do know that a lot of you will be saying, hey, Didi, what the fuck? You're the Bitcoin king. Why are you talking about altcoins? Because I just want to completely share publicly that I'm also investing in altcoins. Yes, I went all in in Bitcoin. Yes, I'm still all in in Bitcoin. Yes, even my kids are all in Bitcoin. My wife is all in Bitcoin. Even our dog is all in Bitcoin. But it doesn't mean I don't want more Bitcoin. I do want more Bitcoin. And sometimes there are these altcoins that will outperform Bitcoin in the short term. So I will use these altcoins with a very small part of my portfolio to increase my Bitcoin portfolio. That's the only goal. And when the altcoin really has a use case or really has a future, like for example that Famecoin, by buying FMC tokens you get a share in the artificial intelligence influencer agency, yeah, maybe I might hold it a little bit longer. So that's why I also talk about it. If you don't like me talking about these other crypto projects that I invest in, please let me know down below as well, because then I will keep it just to my VIP group and not publicly on YouTube again. Now, let's jump into the travel tip. 
Before I jump into a travel tip, guys, uh, I have an exclusive offer again for the Bitcoin family members. If you use our link to sign up to Bybit, guys, you can get a 20 US dollar airdrop. You can win an iPhone 15 worth like 1000 US dollar. You can win a VIP membership worth $600. And you can win a couple of these Bitcoin t-shirts. You can choose them yourself in the store. I like this one, Born to be Free. But you can win a couple of these shirts. You can win a lot of prizes if you use the link down below the video, guys. It's an exclusive link an exclusive campaign so you need to be using that link to be able to claim all these prizes and it will take you a minimum deposit of $100 a trading volume I think of 10,000 US dollar which means uh, you need to if you deposit for example $1,000 you do one trade with a leverage of 10 and that's a $10,000 volume if you do a deposit of $100 you need to do leverage with 100 and then you have for example a $10,000 trade uh, that's enough to be able to make a chance on winning these prizes like a $20 airdrop like a beautiful iPhone a t-shirt or a VIP membership at the Bitcoin family guys. So exclusive offer by Bit and the Bitcoin family together offering you these amazing prizes. And let's now jump into that travel tip. The travel tip for today guys. Yes, I'm doing the travel tip in between my beautiful pool and my beautiful Turkish steam bath. The travel tip for today guys, I'm doing in this beautiful garden in between my pool, my Turkish steam bath in front of a cactus and beautiful palms. That's where you do a travel tip. Now, the travel tip for today is use Google Translate. Yes, it's a very simple travel tip, but install Google Translate. It's an app on your iPhone or on your Android phone. And whenever you are in trouble with translating Dutch into Thai or Dutch into Indonesian or Dutch into Spanish, use Google Translate. Nowadays in Google Translate, there is even an option to have a conversation. So you click the conversation button, you speak in Dutch, he will hear everything in Thai, he will speak in Thai, you will hear everything in Dutch, etc, etc, etc. So you just put the iPhone in the middle of you and you start to talk in your language and he will understand it in his language and he will start to talk in his language and you will understand his language. Oh shit, that's exactly why we told you already seven years ago, our, our kids don't need to focus especially on learning languages. Of course, it's nice to uh, know a few sentences and to put a smile on their face, but I'm not going to put my kids through a four year like language school because I think that the future is going to be completely different. And a travel tip that I'm giving you today is the start of that different future. Yes, now we are using this very slow working Google app and there's also paid apps that do the like conversation translations. But it won't take long anymore. You will just be walking around with this beautiful Apple AirPod that will do that work for you without opening a telephone. He speaks Spanish, you hear English. You speak English, he will hear Spanish. It is all going to be integrated in these AirPods and maybe in the future even in like chips or whatever, guys. The future is changing. The blockchain technology, the internet, and other things, AI, that complete combination is going to change the future tremendously. And that's why we always said we are preparing the kids for the future, not for the past. They don't need to memorize books anymore because we have ChatGPT now that's probably going to be integrated in the smallest devices that we even have. And it will give our kids more knowledge than they could ever have with memorizing books on a university. So the travel tip for the day is use these modern technologies when you need to use them. Google Translate is a very beautiful tool if you just don't speak the language and they don't speak or understand English or Dutch or German or French or Canadian. Oh, well, that's like English <laughs> or Australian. That like, sounds different than English. But that's a very beautiful handful tool. Try it. Try it with your wife. Try it with your wife. She speaks your local language and you speak a different language with that Google Translate today. You will have a lot of fun. Now, that was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. There was no question of the followers again yesterday. There was a lot of compliments, a lot of best wishes to get better. Uh, thank you for all the positivity. It's really helping me. Um, so there was no question. So I'm going to uh, tell you again one of the services that we provide. We have a trading bot. There's a spot bot. A spot bot means it's buying Bitcoin, selling Bitcoin. It can never be liquidated. We also have a leverage bot. We have a leverage bot that's using 1.5 leverage. So that means, yes, it's a little bit more risky, but it can almost never be liquidated because it's only 1.5 leverage. So Bitcoin should be falling down to below 10,000 US dollar, for example, to be liquidated, which I don't believe that will happen. I'm using the leverage bot because I believe it's completely safe and it's making me around 3% every month. So if I have like 100K in there, it's going to provide me of 3,000 US dollar every month. I'm not taking that out. 
I'm compounding all the profits that I make over there. I will leave them in the bot and I will just have that bot, a sort of a saving fund, pension fund, trades for me all the time, 20%. It's buying and selling, it's buying and selling, it's buying and selling. When I'm sleeping, it's buying and selling. When I'm having sex with my wife, it's buying and selling. When I'm swimming, I'm buying and selling. When I'm in my Turkish steam bath, it's buying and selling. When I do a boat trip, it's buying and selling. It's just my personal assistant, my trading assistant, it's trading 24-7 my capital. And for me, we leverage with a very small risk of liquidations. If you don't want that risk, you use the trading bot. A little bit less profits, probably 2 to 2.5% a month, but still a very beautiful return investment um, if you have sleeping capital out there. And yes, you can trade Bitcoin, you can trade USDT, and you can trade Ethereum. If you want to know more about this trading bot, guys, you can go to thebitcoinfamily.com and you uh, select in the menu products and then you will see a drop down list. And there you can find a trading bot. It's not our own trading bot. This trading bot is created by Trade with Sequence. We have a partnership with Trade with Sequence. They do all the support, all the service. We just provide our customers from this beautiful setup uh, with a small discount. And you don't need to pay anything up front. And the only thing you pay is a part of your profits to trade with Seekins at the end if you make profits. If you don't make profits, you don't pay anything. So the Bitcoin family is not the creator, but we really love the bot. That's why we are using it ourselves. And that's why we are also sharing it with our community, guys. Now, my question to you is, please ask a question down below this video so I can answer that question in tomorrow's video because else I need to do some promotion of our products again. And you don't want that because you don't want me to be that chilling guy talking about all these projects. You want me to answer your questions, but then you also need to ask your questions. And please understand, there is no such thing as a stupid question. Don't be afraid to ask a question. Asking for help is a strength, not a weakness. So please ask a question down below. Let's jump into the next part. The news for the day, guys, is a very special news because I read an article that Google updated their policy and that they now allow crypto trusts in the United States to post ads on Google from the end of January 2024. So allowing crypto trusts to post ads on Google from the end of January 2024, exactly around that period that we all think that the spot ETF, for example, of BlackRock will be approved. And yes, BlackRock is one of the biggest shareholders of Google and all the other companies in the world. So this is no coincidence that Google is now updating their policy and now that the centralized huge companies are going to play the game with crypto as a trust or as a fund, they update the policy that they will be allowed they will be allowed to do advertisements on Google. Do you see how all these puzzles are falling into place? How these huge centralized entities like BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street are ruling the whole world? And why they are not speeding up the process? They first of course need to create the whole play field. They need to be allowed to promote what they will be selling. We won't be allowed. Normal people are not allowed. We can't even do Facebook ads about Bitcoin. I can't even post a Facebook ad about my Bitcoin course or my VIP membership. That's impossible. But now, one of the biggest owners of Google, BlackRock, is going to start a spot ETF probably in 2024. Probably will be approved around that time. And from that moment, very coincidentally, yes, Google is updating the policy and making it possible for them to run ads on Google. That's how simple it works in this world, guys. And if you don't want the world to be like that, then you should buy into freedom. And buying into freedom means buying Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin and blockchain are the tools that will be able to give and provide us that freedom that we want in the future. We don't want an enslaved future, a digital enslaved future. We want a freedom future, where we can spend whatever we want to who we want, wherever we want, whenever we want. Not when they are in control, we need to be in control. So please understand that these big players are playing one big chess game. And they are trying to scare you out of this game. They don't want you to hold that freedom bag over here. They want you to hold that enslaved fiat currency bag over there. Stay in fiat currency. We will take that freedom Bitcoin money. 
and we will do everything we can. We will even make Google update their policy so that we will be able to promote what we are going to offer, a spot ETF trust to our customers. That is the news for today, guys. So please be aware, all these games, don't be fooled. You should be buying Bitcoin, a shitload of Bitcoins. Let's jump into the next part. It brings me to the last part of the video, guys, of course, the inspirational part. And that one is following up what we just talked about. Because great things don't come often from the comfort zone. You need to step outside of the comfort zone to achieve great things. And probably fiat currencies for you at the moment is the comfort zone. You feel very comfortably holding those fiat currencies, dollars, euros, whatever currency it is, on your bank account. That's your comfort zone. But great things never happen in your comfort zone. They happen when you step outside of your comfort zone. And yes, I'm relating this now to, of course, cryptocurrency, but you could relate that to everything in life. But the moment you step outside of this fiat currency comfort zone on your bank account into Bitcoin, this beautiful new freedom technology, that is the moment when great things will happen. Just like those great things happened for my family and me. They wouldn't have happened if we would have stayed in that comfort zone with a job and a company and a bank account with fiat currencies, inflationary foreign currencies that would have less value every year and year and year and year. I could buy less like sandwiches every year for the same amount of euros. If we would have stayed in that comfort zone, that's educated or brainwashed into our head, this is your comfort zone, this is safe, then we would never achieve these great things and our opinion great things that we are achieving now because we stepped out of the comfort zone. And again, this is related now to cryptocurrency, but I think it's related to everything in life. If you always keep running that same circle or performing the same sports or doing the same tricks every time again and again, you're not stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's not bad to feel uncomfortable. It's not bad to feel strange. This is exactly the beginning of something very beautiful, something very big. So stepping outside of the comfort zone, and my honest opinion, is the best thing you can do in life. Now, that was the live advice for today. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and please do understand we are all born to be free. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. Bam. -bye.